Hello game devs, welcome back to another tutorial. So today I'll, I will be showing you how to build your game offline or how to compile your game, your HTML game offline in Chival 5. So um first of all, um okay before we begin I just want to say welcome to Gdevelop Better 92. This is presently the latest version of Chival. Um here we go, what's new? We have um a ton of new um examples and actions so um if you haven't updated yours i would advise you update it and also as usual i would recommend you set um your gdevelop to auto download and install updates as you see it's recommended by gdevelop and i would also recommend this so you get the latest version of gdevelop so close um create a new project so um first of all we will be building a game built um online using gdevelop and building it offline so we can compare which is better which is the online or the offline build so let's get to um search all right i will be using um an example i similar to develop which is a cannonball with physics um i made a tutorial on this um some weeks back okay so let's go um export the game so here we go, Windows, so this is the online, this is the offline, local folder, let's build for the online first. So open that up, Windows, um, okay, I want the Windows, auto installer, let's go with that, package. First of all, it exports the game, then it uploads, um, to build service, oh sorry, I am not connected to the internet. Yeah, that's Okay, so connect. Okay, so let's go again. Package. Okay, so upload to build service. Now it's compressing before uploading. Um. Okay, now it's uploaded and now it starts to build. Um. Okay, we can see a time of four minutes. And it goes back. Okay, that should take some time. Okay, we have a values reduced to three minutes now. Um, I would pause the video and come back once it's about um once it's completed. So, okay, that's complete. Um, I think that took over three minutes to complete. So, let's download. Okay, that's gonna take some time. Okay, so here we go. Um, downloads. What's an MB? Fifteen, sixteen. Okay, that's almost done. Um, okay, that's complete. Um, it's gonna take some time. Um, okay, we should receive. Okay, that's speed. Um, okay, so showing folder. Now it would take me to my download folder. Um, there we go, that's already open, so, so downloads. Here we go. Um here we go, game windows, open that up. Okay, so more info, um run anyway.
Okay, so that's installing Cannonball setup. Um, um so it's not right. Uninstall, retry, um, ignore. Okay, so we have a Cannonball, um, which is open that up. So here we go, um, that's opening. And here we go, this is it. This is the Chitavolp, um, online build. Um, okay, that took a lot of time. Okay, so now let's go to the offline build, um, minimize, close. Now I will turn up my connection. Okay, so here we go. Um, disconnect. Disconnect. Okay, so now that's disconnected. There we go. So now to build our game um, offline, we need to export the project first. So export, export um, local folder, build your game locally as a HTML5 game. So open that up, um, select the folder, desktop. Um, okay, so we create a folder now. New folder and name that Canon. Okay, Cannonball and select folder. Oh, it does not exist. We need to rename this, which is our new folder 7. So it doesn't really matter the name you give it, I'm just trying to make um a unique so um Canon and make it organized. So Canon, select that, select folder and export. So game export and done. So open exported game folder. And now to do this, we would be using um a software which is the HTML compiler. You can download it. The link is in the description of this video. So here we go. This is what it looks like. So this is what the HTML co um, compiler looks like. Presently, this is an unregistered version, so you will get um, a watermark. Um, you get a dialog showing up once you build your project. So to do that, file we need a new project. So you need to create a new project. Choose here your site index file. So you can find your site index file, and okay, let this open up. Okay, so here we go. And desktop, so Canon. There we go. So this is our index file. You have to click on your index file, else it won't work. So you have to open this up. Choose index. So here we go. Now as you can see, it opened up in the HTML compiler. Um, so this is what it would build. Um, for us, so let's go through some options. Close this, let's go through some options. About that, um, build, sorry, run, edit, sorry, um, projects options. So this gives us um, a ton of options. You can select your application title, which would be um, Canon Ball. So this will be our application title, and you can select your application ID. No worry. Um, whichever um icon you give to your project into develop um this software gives it um the default um icon, which is its icon with a HTML5 logo on it, because it only takes .ico, which is um which is a format to develop converts your icons, your PNG and JPEG icons to um, for you to look like for you to be an application, so the ton of software is online to convert your icons, your PNG icons, into an the uh, ICO icon. So now, um, to develop, or now the software would give us a, the default icon, which is the HTML logo. So here you can select your application theme. Now, this is something to develop does not give us. You get this um, theme. So you can select whichever theme they like a lot of theme. So I want this is the default, which is the um theme to develop gives us, which is the Windows. Um so we get this. 
Gray, um, Smoky, Slate, Classical, um, Sky, um, Sylvia. Okay, so just do you like a lot? You just choose on um, whichever you like. Okay, so I would go with this, um, or maybe carbon. Okay, so I would go with this. Um, let's go to the next content. So this is index HTML5. This is the index file which you must click on. Um, window. Now this is something um I like a lot. Oh, so now this is size, the default size. So this is the default size your game starts up with. We have the 800 by 600. So once you open your game, it comes with this um size, the 800 by 600. You get the um 300 by 200, um 640 by 480. And this you also get the custom. You can select the width and the height you want it, your um window width to be. So let's go with the 800 or maybe the 640 by 480 um first. So this. Is what it would look like this would be the size of our window width um also we get a style which is a full screen you can select the full screen first it covers the whole screen and also although we get a normal or always on top this positions your um border on top your window on top style normal and now border this is something i have been looking for for um a long time um i've been waiting for this feature in develop which is um which prevents one from resizing your window so this is sizable i think by default jdevelop believes it's a sizable that's why um our projects okay i will just we'll just get the preview of this okay so here we go this is the preview um so this is what i'm talking about jdevelop gives this the ability for your game window with to be resized so um if you're not using full screen someone or a player could resize your game to any um size they want there you go so this could happen um now using the html compiler gives you the ability to prevent that um cancel so yeah this function like none which removes totally um eradicates the borders sorry um edit project options Okay, so it fakes out the borders. Um, we also have the single. Sorry, edit. Project options. Okay, so window. Um, single first. So here we go. Now this you cannot resize this. Um, for those who want your game not. Um, once a, a game which cannot be resized, this is perfect. I also get other options like the sizable, like the dialog, um, first. So this is what a dialog looks like. Close. Um, also get the two window first. So this is it. Um, cancel. Also, we get the size two window. This is this, this is um resizable. Okay, so I would go with the single. I don't want my game resizable. And also 800 by 600 now first okay so there we go now you cannot resize the game so compile same here this is the um, output file you just select the name a little feeling canon ball dot exe um, behavior okay so activate the application tray icon yes escape key close the application this goes with most games um, escape key closes the um, game it's compile window um here we go so now this feature gives us the ability to give your or the software gives you the ability to give your game a password so you can fill in a password sorry um i have to select my index file all over again here we go so you could give your application a password um i'll just give that gem um okay so save and that's it now all you need to do is compile your project and click on compile sorry um there is an error here all right we need to fix this close um close sorry build compile project set um a name let's say compile projects to ball to 
compile okay so there we go compilation um compilation successful um that's opening now that was successful um now here we go this it gives the access for the password and this is the theme it comes with so I'll fill in the password gem and that opens so if you um this is what is what comes with the unregistered version you get this at the beginning so I would advise you pay for this and get this out close this and this is it it gives us this um looks really good gives us a um a theme um it's you can resize it still works perfectly just like the one we have in Chidevelop so there we go this is the um Chidevelop version okay so this is the Chidevelop version um I'll position that here and here that's loading okay so here we go this is what the Chidevelop version looks like this and this is the version close this and this is our HTML compiler version okay so um that's how it's done